Hey everybody, it's another Mayhem Minute at Mike Sorg for this uh, March 20th, 2015. And today I want to talk a little about Impact Wrestling. <gasps> I am, I, you know, we've been, uh, Man and Mike has been uh, talking a lot of Impact uh, and live tweeting and everything. has been very, very down on what's going on, although he had very positive things to say uh, this past week. So I've been catching up myself. I, 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 of course, I don't have Destination America but uh, I've been catching up as far as their YouTube channel goes, so I've been getting my bite-sized version of Impact Wrestling, and I, I, and with the scope of that kind of seeing what's going on, it, it seems um, it seems uh, it doesn't seem that bad, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, no, it's not it's not as big as as this other stuff. Um, Lucha Underground is definitely. Uh, has a better vibe to it. It definitely seems Impact Wrestling has taken a few steps back as far as production, presentation. Uh, the, cam the cameras are driving me nuts, but it's not enough to make me run away from what's going on there. Um, it's it's interesting, you know? Um, I mean, it's not... No, it's not entirely compelling, but I still want to see what's going on over there. Um, but take a look at that, and of course, I think the shows I've been watching are still from their uh, a, a long stand of tapings um, in England, so very rabid fan base. Um, um, you know, back to the dark arenas look. Um, I, and I, I know they're probably hiding on the empty seats or something like that, um, but it's still, it comes off kind of okay on TV, uh, but it's definitely not the impact wrestling that I'm used to. Uh, to a certain extent, uh, but it's still great to see a lot of these guys on a bigger stage. You know, guys like you know friends of the show like to see my eye on uh, from here in, in the Pittsburgh area, and um, and that opportunity for that kind of stuff. And and and, and I've been reading about like Bobby Lashley has been treated better than he ever was in WWE. And I'm getting into with the uh, 30 days of WrestleMania that point where we do see Bobby Lashley pop up in in the case so far just in Money in the Bank matches, but still. Um, so it's interesting to kind of compare, compare that point and, and good for him. He, he's found a platform. He's a champion over there. Same with MVP. Um, same with, uh, guys like low key that didn't really find his, his place in WWE. Um, you know, uh, great, you know, um, they love Mr. Anderson over there, you know, uh, which, you know, I feel like his character has kind of gotten a little longer than the tooth myself. Uh, I do agree with that, that kind of critique of, of, of impact wrestling. But um, but no, you see, it, we're seeing that they're going back to the uh, Universal Studios for uh, uh, taping some episodes for a, a three-day stand here in May, um, and uh, it, it, and they're going to be resuming live shows, like the the non-taped live shows touring around the, the around around America, which is good, which is great. I think that's something that's really important for them to kind of build the brand. Uh, loyalty and everything like that. Um, obviously, I don't think it, it's it's going to be really interesting. I think I kind of alluded to this a little bit when we talked about NXT being in Columbus on uh, yesterday's uh, Mayhem Minute. But um, it'll be interesting to see how the fan base is in general. I don't know that there's a rabid following for them. Um, I don't think there is. I, I very much don't think there is. It, it's it, because. Um, I feel like they've hurt a lot of fans, you know, uh, they feel like, ugh, you know, everybody on the show is, we want Impact to succeed. Oh man, it's a number two that was coming up when there was nobody, when WWE was effectively competing with itself. Now there's lots of other things, nobody on the WCW versus WWE size of things, but, you know, it's a bunch of guys that we love seeing. And now we get more excited when Samoa Joe goes back to Ring of Honor. When Evan Bourne goes back to Ring of Honor, you know, um, so that's an interesting thing going on there because now Ring of Honor has grown up, and uh, no, it's not as big or feels as big as even Impact Wrestling, but they're growing. I, I watched that show for the first time in a little bit uh, over the weekend, and uh, Ring of Honor is gonna—they they might overtake them, and they have more access. I know it's city to city, but if it's in your city, you don't need a th second, third tier cable to get them. I don't need to pay to watch Ring of Honor. I just get to flip on my TV when they do the replay on Sunday night. And I don't have cable. So that's very, very liberating. Obviously, I live a lot on WWE Network. But other than that, 
Uh, let me know what you think about Impact Wrestling, where they've been since this Destination America switch up. Uh, I'm at Sorgatron on Twitter if you want to get at me directly, or let us know at Mayhem Show. Comments to this video or over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can check out this. Subscribe to the iTunes feed for this uh, Mayhem Minute and, uh, and so much more. We've got so many great, great shows going on over there. Please subscribe to everything and sign up to the newsletter for PittsburghWrestling.com um, and uh, you'll get. You know, updates on this and other podcasts, as well as all the new releases from uh, Pittsburgh Wrestling, Indie Wrestling US, all the productions at Sorgatron Media, including International Wrestling Cartel. We just put out a bunch of back uh, back DVDs, including a great AJ Styles versus uh, uh, Matt Hardy. I was just uh, tweeting with uh, Bryce Remsburg uh, of, of Chikara fame, the referee over there. He's in the shot. He used to be a head referee here in Pittsburgh for uh, IWC. Uh, so it was great to kind of look back at that kind of stuff. That stuff is like $2.99 to $4.99 for all the back catalog for IWC. A lot, a lot of great stuff. A lot of people before they were stars. I know. Uh, I don't know if it's up, but I know we have a Dean Ambrose match in there as well. Uh, Solomon Crowe's in there, a Sammy Callahan for a lot of stuff. Um, you know, it's really cool to kind of look back at that history. CM Punk's all over that stuff too. Um, so uh, until next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.